Hello and welcome to this new video in which uh, we are going to see how to perform the diagnostic test in uh, linear regression using SPSS. So uh, it's very important to test for uh, error term diagnostic in uh, linear regression because uh, uh, there are some hypotheses, uh, normality, uh, homoscedasticity as well as non autocorrelation of error term that are very important in the stability of model. So the normality test is very important. It's some hypothesis that is uh, hidden behind regression that is uh, very important in the significant test of error of uh, coefficient uh, in a way that uh, the student test that is used to test for coefficient significant is based on the hypothesis of normality of error term that is used to build the student statistics in order to test for the this this the hypothesis of uh, coefficient significance so it's very important so though to uh, to test for the normality of error term is very important also to test for homoscedasticity because uh, a homoscedasticity hypothesis uh, rely on the constant of variance of error terms. So is the error terms uh, variance is not constant, it's not good because we have a model that uh, error term is not uh, is not stable, so we need to have a euro term that uh, that have uh, zero mean and constant variance in order to uh, very well master the, the, the error term. So uh, the last hypothesis, which is uh, non autocorrelation, is important because uh, if you have euro term that is previsible uh, using previous value of euro term, is not good because uh, it means that we can improve the quality of model. We can uh, try to uh, stop uh, this uh, capacity of error term to predict uh, its uh, value using its previous value. So uh, it's important to check those three hypotheses in order to have a model that uh, everything uh, coefficient, for example, are interpretable. So uh, first of all, uh, I would like you, if it's the first time you are watching one of my video, to subscribe to my YouTube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to post the next videos. So we have a uh, data set in which uh, we have many variable, variable uh, denoted x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, to y6, uh, y are for explanatory variable and uh, x for uh, independent variable. So we'll estimate uh, randomly a model using those variables. So the name of variable are not important. What is important here is to see how to check for uh, hypotheses uh, to uh, error terms. So we go analyze, then uh, regression and linear regression will uh, select for example for independent variable you variable y3 so in as independent independent variable we will select y1 2 and 3 and put it using this arrow in the independent section so what different element we need in this uh, in this uh, process so we need to uh, in statistic for example it's important for us to have a durbin Watson statistics. So we will uh, we'll, uh, select durbin Watson to have a durbin Watson statistic in order to use it uh, to compare to critical values that are that are in durbin Watson table in order to take the decision is whether or not we'll accept or reject the null hypothesis of non correlation. So then we click on continue. What will we plot in this section? We'll, uh, we need to test for homoscedasticity. So for homoscedasticity purpose, we'll uh, plot the standardized residual that we will put on uh, Y axis and uh, in X. So we we'll will rather put on X axis and on Y axis, we will put the uh, 
the dependent variable standardized uh, prevision in y axis. So we we'll plot uh, the histogram of erot of this uh, of the residual as well as uh, normal probability plot to see how much the normality, the curve match with uh, the histogram for normality purposes. So we click on continue and then on save, we'll uh, uh, save the standardized uh, residual the standardized residual because we'll use that standardized residual in order to test for for normality for normality of error terms. So uh, we'll also uh, on predicted value of the y variable test for check uh, say standardized value to almost elasticity test. Even though in the selection of variable we are we are already uh, uh, ask for the curve of the standardized residual of the plot of the scatter plot of residual and the standardized uh, predicted value of y variable. So we can uh, drop this uh, selection about standardized uh, predicted value. And then we click on continue. And then on option, option, we don't have any option here to select a for the hypothesis verification. So uh, we can then just click on uh, OK. And then we'll have the result of our estimation of the residual of our linear regression model first. We'll have uh, our Durbin Watson statistic that we use uh, to compare in uh, Durbin Watson statistic to critical value uh, to help us uh, interpret our autocorrelation test. So we have a Durbin Watson, Durbin Watson statistic here is uh, uh, 1.1 19. So our Devin, Devin Watson statistics is uh, here. So uh, in ANOVA coefficient, we have uh, uh, we have uh, uh, also uh, element on coefficient that are not interesting us for now. But what is interesting us now is, for example, the PP plot for regression standardized residual to see if whether or not the curve match with uh, with, with this uh, diagram, the, with this curve, so we, we can see that the, uh, the curve match very well with the line. So we'll verify, uh, we'll verify the, this hypothesis in our, in our linear, in our uh, normality test, analytic normality test. Uh, here is a, is just a graphic test of normality will uh, confirm this hypothesis in our uh, in the analytic test. So we have a scatter plot of uh, residual on uh, regression standardized predicted value. And we can see that uh, e, the, the scatter plot is uh, very homogeneous that because uh, we can see that the value are in a rectangle or in a rectangle and uh, we can now, uh, according to the representation, say that our, our scatter plot is very homogeneous. So we can uh, just accept the hypothesis of uh, almost elasticity of our error terms. So uh, what uh, hypothesis are we going to check now? So we have uh, also in the analysis uh, asking SPSS to generate the standardized error term in our parameter. So we use this uh, new generated variable of uh, standardized error term to test for normality using Shapiro wheel and Kolmogorov's mean of test. So we go on analyze descriptive statistics and then explore. So we select our standardized residual, we put in dependent list in statistics. 
you have nothing here to select in plot, you will select normality plot with test. So we will uh, have a, uh, you know, the result of uh, normality test. So you click on OK and then click on uh, OK. And you can see that here are the result of uh, normality test. First of all, we have the courtesies here and uh, skewness that uh, element that uh, in base of which we the normality tests are the uh, built we have for example in Kolmogorov's we know test that the significant is here 0 0.2 uh, the shapiro weak significant is 0 0.4 that are all uh, more than five percent meaning that uh, the hypothesis of normality is uh, verified is satisfied in this uh, regression model uh, meaning that uh, we are happy about the normality of our euro term so the last hypothesis that we are going to check here is uh, you can see that the normality plot standard of standard unusual that really match with the line uh, confirming the uh, analytic test of normality so the last hypothesis that we are going to verify is uh, auto or correlation uh, using the Durbin Watson critical value, which is uh, 1.19. So uh, we we'll, we have here a Durbin Watson Durbin Watson table Durbin Watson table here. Uh, we have three explanatory variables, meaning that uh, k here is three, and we have in our data set. 36, 36 individual, uh, 36 individual, meaning that in our Durbin Watson table, we have will uh, select the line uh, 36. So critical value for 36 observation and three exponential variable are 1.29. The uh, critical value, uh, Durbin Watson critical value is 1.19, which is less than the lowest value of uh, Durbin Watson. Let's go here on Durbin Watson statistics interpretation. You can see that uh, the different cases are when the uh, Durbin Watson statistic is less than the lowest value. There is significant evidence that the error term are positively autocorrelated. So we are in these cases of uh, Durbin Watson, meaning that we are not happy about our model because uh, the error term, uh, the test of error uh, non autocorrelation uh, the test of non autocorrelation confirmed, we reject the null hypothesis of non autocorrelation meaning that our error term are autocorrelated and the correlation is uh, positive according to uh, Durbin Watson statistics, so that we are not happy about our model. We confirm the normality, but autocorrelation is not good. So we try to we need to try to change our model using, for example, the generalized least square in order to correct the, that uh, autocorrelation. So for now, we cannot interpret the hypothesis or the uh, the result of our model due to the violation of one of the uh, hypotheses that is hidden behind the linear regression. So that's it for this uh, video, which the purpose was to show you how to estimate a linear regression model and test for diagnostics uh, on the residual. Um, if you have not done so, do subscribe and activate the notification bell. In order not to lose the next publication, do let the thumbs up. It will be a pleasure to know that all the four we are making are helping to improve our statistical model for social sciences level. So let us see you very soon in a new video.